All right, folks, season four of Survivor's Remorse on Stars is upon us at the American Black Film Festival in June. We caught up with Erica Ash and Jesse T. Usher about the new season. So you started last season, uh, and so... Disclaimer! You, you, so your, your Mike, uh, Mike Epps character dies, yeah. and it was a little heavy. It was very heavy. For basically the entire season. <laughs> yeah, no. It picked up in like the last two or three, but... It took a dark turn, didn't it? Yeah. Like, it went to dark time. I was kind of like... Okay, did the comedy leave? Did we get it? Yeah, it turned it turned to dark comedy. But I think we kind of we it was our it was our homage to him and what he meant to our family. I did, right. you know, I understand how some of the fans would be like, all right. But I think it kind of I feel like it turned around after like maybe the third episode. I gave it the fifth. Really? It okay. was still. It, it was a cloud that kind of it, yeah. it, it stayed with us for a little bit, yes. and then we had to find ways yes. to bring the comedy yes. back into that. No, yes. I understand. What you're exactly, saying. exactly what it felt like. Right. Yeah. What it felt like. Yeah. So. But I think that we did, and I think that that was that was one of the biggest challenges for us, like in growing our characters mm -hmm. and figuring out what life meant after Uncle Julius. That was, you know, a challenge for the writers and a challenge for us to find the funny and what material we were presented. And right. so, you know, I think when we when we found it, we found it. And then, of course, I mean, which is a natural part of life anyway, because you experience this, uh, heartbreak, uh, you experience things along those lines, but you still have to have, uh, you still, life still has to go on. That's Absolutely. True. That's true. Absolutely. All right, so this upcoming season, um, I was, so the promos are saying uh, you're back on the court. <laughs> okay, I don't really know what that means. That's just what they're saying. It's a proverbial court, <laughs> home court, court <laughs> if you will. Right. You're not going to so, play basketball. Okay. That was a strategic decision, right? Okay. Like Absolutely. We, yeah, that's a uh -huh. whole other can of worms right. you have to open. Right. If you, you know, you gotta, you have to get players, you gotta get cheerleaders, you gotta get, you know, thoughts. It's a whole yeah. bunch of stuff. Gotta get thoughts. That's you gotta, <laughs> gotta get thoughts. That's you gotta, <laughs> yeah. Gotta get, that, gotta get, gotta get a thoughts. What's yeah. a good playoff game without a couple thoughts? I mean, yeah, precisely. Yeah, yeah, right. precisely. And we wanted to keep the focus on the family, and so if you right. bring in that element, it takes the focus away, and then you've gotta kind of juggle two. Storyline, well, you know, two well, separate well, sides of the storyline. Well, right, so. and so, so, so really, I mean, the reality is, the basketball I, as a piece has always sort of been the thing in the background. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. he's a player, but here's the other side of it. Absolutely. Uh, you, you, what, so you got your character was a little, has always been ignorant. <laughs> um, has always been ignorant. This is that defiant palsy. No, I mean, I mean, let's just be, let's just be real. I mean, whether or not it was freaking the other woman in the bathroom at the club. We just talked about that. We did. And she was talking about how, you know, how she goes into the writer's room and, you know, that she brings up these storylines and she talks about where she wants the character to go and how great they are at involving that into, you know, what comes to life. And I was saying, so that one was... Uh, that was not mine. You sure? That was not mine. That seemed like an idea that you might have said... It was not mine. You know, like, I want to get some excitement in the M. Chuck's life and I'm thinking about doing this they thing. They actually then, did bring that to me and they were like, okay, Okay, listen, we haven't gotten anything juicy from you in terms of that. So, can we get a little something? And I was like, okay, let's do it. So, <laughs> if, 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 you could, if you could say uh, in a few words what people should expect, not giving anything away, mm -hmm. but new season, what is that? You're definitely going to be able to expect um, resolution. You're going to be able to expect self-discovery, um, self-discovery, um, and <laughs> ignorance. <laughs> Lots of ignorance. As is the survival, but also like a change in the power dynamic. You yeah. see that happen a lot amongst the characters. You know how they deal with each other right. as well as the world around them. Like it, it changes a lot in the fourth season. But also, your show has now grown up mm -hmm. because when uh, you debuted, you were paired with. I think you what you came on Saturdays. Uh, right. When you launched, mm -hmm. uh, and then they, I think they, what did they pair it with? It was, it was like you were on. We were, we, we were, were standalone. We were standalone. We were standalone. Yeah. But I remember how they marketed. Now you're pushed into August. Uh huh. Because yeah. now people kind of like, yo, what, what the hell? Now we got to wait another month. Right. What's up for the show? Right. And so, so it, it feels even more like you're sort of this standalone show. Because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm watching how stars is. I'm watching how they're stacking shows. I'm watching right. how. So I see Power debuting later in June or whatever. Mm -hmm. And y'all launching literally two months after them. Yeah, basically when they're finished is when we're gonna when we're gonna jump in. 
You know, but last season they paired us right after Power, so Power with Air, and then immediately after Survivor. That's what North I'm saying. Season. So now, now, uh -huh, now I feel like we might have. I feel like maybe we've earned. Uh, I'm saying y'all yeah. grown up. We've grown we're up. Like, oh, yeah. We got our own yeah. thing. We got our own thing. Yeah, and it's a Sunday have night. Tripled you know? last season from the season before, yeah. and so you know, and a lot of that is people talking about it. We haven't done so much more in terms of our publicity and press and so it's just that the word is really spreading you know we definitely got a leg up going after power last mm -hmm. season so that was helpful because a lot of people just didn't know where to find us and right. so then once they were able to find us it's like oh wait what's this show then they got reeled in and then you know now we are we we have our legs underneath us and the social media we aspect as well being able to really uh, go back and forth with uh, communicating with folks. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely. one of my favorite parts about being on the show is get to talk to people like during the during the premiere and like right after. That's one of the best parts, you know, to see their reaction to the work that we put in because we put in a lot of preparation, a lot of work, put a lot of work. So we have how many episodes this year? Ten. Ten episodes. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're looking. At the, we're certainly looking forward to it. Uh, and again, uh, tell Mike I'm still expecting <laughs> there to be an interview moment with your basketball playing character and an ascot wearing journalist. I don't understand what the problem is. I don't understand why, uh, you know. Why is Roland Martin this, not this, on the I'm, show? I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're five, we have I'm, one I'm, mission. I'm just Done. saying. We got one I, you know, mission. I'm just we saying. Him in it. I mean, you know, there are very few shows I live tweet uh, to my million five followers. I'm just saying. Just I mean, saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. You know, give that, a little, the, the, give the, the, little. that I put the row road stamp on. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, Mike, uh, <laughs> you know, it'd be nice. You got other people extras. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. Can you have a news conference and I'm sitting there? I'm just saying. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, it ain't right. that hard. It's a lot yeah. of possibilities. Yeah. I mean, that, you that, know what? I think, I just, I don't know why this just came to me, but maybe when we do our writer's pitch meeting, I was just rolling? thinking that. They gonna, Let's pitch every, At the beginning of every year, they always say, like, you know, what direction do you want the show to go in? What you thinking about the character, this and that? I'm going to say, you know, there's, a, there's something that's been missing. See, I got a better one. See, well, y'all let me know when y'all going to have a writer's pitch meeting. And you want to come in and the you say, we got an idea. Then, boom, doors open. <laughs> You're going to walk. Yeah. And he walked in. Ask Scott. Scott. Ask Scott with two cameras and some lights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, and they still not going to know what the heck we talking about. Oh, they going to know. They're going to be like, figure it out. Hey, y'all. This is how we ended the interview with Erica and Jesse right here. Go to my iPad, Shelly. That's how we do it right there. Back, News One Now, TV One. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. No. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.